thing. I think I found a drum pattern I want to just play to. I use Jim Dooley loops, just in case anybody gives a crap. I hope, hopefully, this is the right one. Let's just go, and I'm gonna play to it, and see. Let's see what happens. See if it's loud enough and everything. Go. No. Yeah, that's loud.
If you stayed this long, I know you actually, your average watching time is four minutes. Pick it up a bit. So here's something, just in case anybody no, it's like why isn't he using? I don't know if he even noticed. Wasn't using my high using my high E past this fret. Well, this guitar has been buried under ten other guitars. So I'm doing all this moving around during the summer because this is what happens. Neck got warped. So, when I go up, here, listen. So just in the amount of time I've had this out for about 45 minutes, the neck has gone back. It was warped this way, so from about the 14th fret up, I couldn't play. It was all one note. It was just hitting the, the frets. So I've given that. So this is another lesson to learn. If you're ever playing live, get your guitar out and have it around your neck and be messing with it for at least for like a half hour to warm up something because if you put that thing on fresh and, and this is a dean and deans are one this is one of the problems with dean that i have with dean and that's and you know uh this isn't a what do you call it it's a set neck not a bolt-on i like bolt-ons they apparently they just they're more sturdy to me. Uh, this doesn't... All of you know that 
I was playing something, a, a version of some song, tell me what it was. Because if I'm that bad and you couldn't pick out a song in there that, not mine, just jamming. And that just popped into my head and I, and I couldn't play the lead right because this string was all jacked up. And now it's fine because the neck is... Ah! Guitars! Gotta love them. And I do. I love this dime one. It's great. Late, man.